Good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. So having a look at the US market, we're actually having a relatively decent start to the morning, uh, just as the Japanese market has increased in value quite substantially on the back of uh, weaker than expected export data. Um, and now people are thinking that there could be more quantitative easing or monetary policy stimulus in the region, which is helping to push the Japan 225 up a little bit higher. But we'll come back to that in a second. Right now, it's all about the US 30 and we're approaching 17,361, more than halfway in between this range we've got a golden cross in the moving averages and the other technicals are relatively neutral apart from the slow stochastic which is still massively overbought but the signal to sell has not yet been generated because it's not gone through that 80 percent level as we speak so uh, doji formation yesterday but we've been a bit more aggressive first thing this morning but remember 17361 is the next potential support and we do have the ecb session later on today okay so having a quick look at the uk 100 we do have 64.15 as a potential resistance we're making a pattern of uh, of lower highs right here but again bullish engulfing patterns so far today we've not quite had the uh, b kind of golden cross on the moving averages uh, we do have the sell signal on the slow stochastic though so that is compounded by the uh, MACD histogram also lowering in value. We've almost got a crossover right there. So um, it could be quite tough for the UK 100 to break through 62.96, basically uh, 6300, um, especially with these patterns here at the tip of that candle, tip and then tip. So 6300 could be the potential support with 64.15 being the potential resistance. So let's have a quick look at that Japan 225 right now, which is uh, having a, a great start on the, on the back of that. Uh, bad news is good news mantra, uh, potentially stopped by the 55 period SMA. Uh, we do have 18,648 has been a potential resistance and that's pretty much where we stopped there today. That coincides with that 55 period SMA. Uh, we do have a sell signal on the slow stochastic which is maybe helping to push that down after such an aggressive move this first thing this morning with 18,306 being potential support and 18,648 being potential resistance. So having a look at dollar yen, dollar yen is creeping up a little bit higher looking at the intraday charts. As you can see there, this is a hammer formation that we had there on Thursday and it's been pushing up nicely. We're now above uh, 119 spot 76, almost breaking 120. But we could be capped the 21 period SMA, and we do have the 55 period SMA coming, getting that little bit closer. Longer term potential resistance 121 spot 87 on dollar yen. So then moving on to West Texas crude today is Wednesday, which means it's crude oil Wednesday. Uh, we do have the inventory data due around about 3:30 UK time, and uh, the expectation is that that crude oil data will be. Uh, a lot higher than expected, perhaps giving the, the clearest indication yet of the oversupply of crude in the world markets, especially with a slowdown in China as well. So 45.85 has been a strategic level on West Texas crude for, it seems to be like forever, uh, but it continues to oscillate around this price and probably today is not gonna be that different. So in fact, if we have a look at the economic data, Due today, uh, we do have UK public finances at 9.30 UK time. And there you can see that we do have the crude oil inventory data and that's 3.30 UK time as well. So make sure you don't forget about that. And we do have the ECB press conference as well later on this afternoon. So then having a quick look at gold. Now gold has uh, was doing quite well a number of sessions ago. Now it's kind of coming off a little bit, but Nevertheless, we had a beautiful bounce there of 11.68, which is the potential support level that we had highlighted there um, from back at the tip of this candle here on the 21st of August. Bounced beautifully up there this, uh, yesterday. Uh, we've not really had a great fall through today, to be completely honest, and we are off the highs because we did manage to get to uh, 11.81 yesterday, only for it to get pushed back down towards the end of the session. And today it's just kind of floating above there. As long as we stay above 11.68, um, then things could still, uh, this could be a good base of operations, I guess, for a move to challenge 12.05, especially in the backdrop of a weaker US dollar and uh, increased likelihood of a delay in an increase in US interest rates as the world economy is going through a little bit of a tough patch right now. So finishing up with Euro dollar and GBP USD. So Euro dollar slowly drifting higher to be fair, off the session highs from yesterday, closed in positive territory only just. Today is not doing a huge amount. On the intraday charts, it actually looks a little bit top heavy, so it looks like it might actually come off a little bit more. And if we have a look at cable, it's not having a great start to the morning either. Um, failing to break through this trend line sloping uh, resistance. Uh, one spot 54.24 is a potential support. And if you look at the price right here, we're pretty much bang on there so far this morning. 
and uh, part of that might be because we might be expecting um, the UK public finance data to come out uh, a little bit worse than expected. It's expected to come out 9.4 billion, but we'll see how that goes. So guys, as ever, keep your eye on the chart forum. Uh, make insights part of your layout going forward. Don't forget about the ECB press conference today. And if you have a look at Thursday, Thursday has a whole host of major data releases. You've got UK retail sales, you've got ECB uh, interest rate announcement. You do have uh, the um, unemployment claims from the US. And of course, you do have existing home sales and the Consumer Confidence Index as well. So make sure you don't miss that. And uh, join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.